As the sun greets a new morning across the Mississippi, and the mighty river washes the night downstream, the bustling city of Muscatine awakes, just as it's done for over 175 years. Muscatine traces its roots to 1833, when Colonel George Davenport came downriver from Rock Island, Illinois, and established an outpost as a place for riverboat captains to replenish their wood for fuel. Briefly known as Casey's Woodpile, it would soon become Bloomington. Little did Colonel Davenport know, he had founded a future international business and cultural center. The town became Muscatine in 1849. Named after the area's Muscatine Indians, the city fathers hoped to end the confusion between their city and Bloomington's in several neighboring states. Muscatine continued to grow as a river town until 1887, when a German button maker, John Frederick Bepley, settled there and opened a mother-of-pearl button factory, using the thick-shelled clams found in the surrounding streams. His company was soon outselling even the established European button makers. Others, like John McKee, followed with factories of their own, and Muscatine soon became known as the pearl button capital of the world, producing over 21,000 buttons every day for garment manufacturers around the world. The industry would employ over half of the population of Muscatine and gained the identity of the Pearl of the Mississippi. Muscatine had established itself as a center for international commerce. Pearl buttons would continue to be Muscatine's lifeblood until the mid-20th century, when plastic buttons gained favor. But by then, others had noticed that Muscatine was the ideal location for other businesses. Drawn by Muscatine's proximity to shipping, and its large skilled and professional labor pool, these new businesses would begin to supplant the button industry. The first was Stanley Consulting, a worldwide engineering firm founded in 1913. But soon it found itself in the company of other internationally known names. Today, the Muscatine area boasts many internationally recognized businesses, such as Bandai, H.J. Hines, Muscatine Foods Corporation, H&I Industries, Carver Pump Company, Musco Sports Lighting, Monsanto, SSAB, Gerdau, CDS Global, and West Liberty Foods, just to name a few. But if you think Muscatine is only about business, think again. It boasts a rich cultural heritage as well. Mark Twain even resided in Muscatine and later wrote, I remember Muscatine for its summer sunsets. I have never seen any on either side of the ocean that equaled them. The Muscatine Art Center is home to a permanent collection of Matisse, Degas, Boudin, Chagall, Picasso, Van Gogh, and Renoir. It also houses works by American artists O'Keeffe, Hauser, Lisansky, and Grant Wood. Quality of family life is also important here. Muscatine boasts 13 public parks with six miles of paved jogging and biking trails, tennis court that are filled all summer long. The city is also home to two large aquatic centers as well. Carver Swim Center is year-round. A $3.8 million fully equipped state-of-the-art soccer facility hosts local, regional, and national events. Right next door is the equally impressive lighted 18-diamond softball and baseball complex in Kent Stein Park. Activity in Muscatine doesn't stop when the sun goes down either. You'll find everything you'd want in a family-friendly atmosphere. The Muscatine Symphony Orchestra performs October through April in the Muscatine Performing Arts Center. Live theater is performed under the stars and indoors by the Muscatine Maskers Community Theater. Muscatine's rich ethnic diversity offers the opportunity to sample a world of flavors, from a simple American hamburger to authentic Mexican and exotic Thai cuisine in one of its many restaurants. Several are housed in former button factories with views of the river. There's another thing that people look for when choosing to move their business or family to a new location. It's health care. Here, the pearl shines again with Trinity Muscatine. A fully staffed local hospital and multi-specialty clinic, Trinity Muscatine is part of the Iowa Health System. 
This gives local patients access to regional experts for the kind of care normally reserved for much larger cities. I've been lucky to live in Muscatine for 50 years. That's not my entire life, but that's a, a lot of it. I've uh, worked for two organizations during that time, and, and in that time I've had a pretty good opportunity to get to know the, the folks that live in this community and that work in this community. People work together very um, committedly. They, they respect each other, whether you're CEO of a major company or on the line of, of one of our industries. I think Trinity uh, joining the uh, Muscatine community in our healthcare system has, has brought a number of advantages. Uh, one, the, the expertise that comes from a larger organization with, with uh, more uh, specialties, more skilled uh, individuals, certainly the financial stability that, that's really critical in these times that, that an organization like Trinity brings to a, to a small town hospital. I think the management systems and, and assistance that they provide to the leadership here have all been instrumental in making Trinity uh, a much stronger uh, medical care provider. You meet a lot more people in a, in a closer community like we have and that's, that's great and um, it, you have most everything you need and if you need something else it's not that far away. We moved to Muscatine and my husband got a job with Kent Feeds about oh, 37 years ago. I was a uh, kindergarten teacher for 30 some years. So we have this core of friends and, and uh, everything we need is right here so uh, we have no desire to go elsewhere. Muscatine has a wonderful social life for young professionals. Uh, there are many great attributes in the downtown area, some great restaurants, some great activities and facilities, and some great organizations to get involved uh, with for a young professional. Social life in Muscatine has definitely evolved over the past few years. When I moved to Muscatine, I joined the Young Professionals Network, which has allowed me to meet other people in the 20 to 40 age group and allowed me to really introduce myself to other young people. I do go to Trinity Muscatine and love the doctors. Muscatine is a great community for hardworking people. We have outstanding businesses, both large and small. We have outstanding city support, growing and improving infrastructure every single day. But in order to make a community like ours complete, it was necessary for Trinity to come into our community and make it that way. And in my opinion, Trinity truly has made Muscatine complete. Trinity Muscatine has been a game changer for attracting new businesses and workers alike. And it's just one of the many examples of why life in Muscatine is good. Good for business, good for families. No matter how you look at it, Muscatine is a well-rounded community that richly deserves its place as one of Iowa's great cities. So come join us in Muscatine, the pearl of the Mississippi.